Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone. We're so glad that you could join us in our home for this Christmas Day service. You just saw our collection of our crushes and images of the Madonna and child from all around the world. So we're bringing you all around the world today with different languages and songs from all over. And uh, please sit back and enjoy this service. O gran misterio y maravilloso sacramento que los animales deben ver al Señor recién nacido acostado en un pesebre. Bienaventurada sea la Virgen, cuyo vientre fue digno de llevar a Cristo al Señor. Amén. The word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Let us pray. Almighty God, who in the incarnation of your Son has revealed to us the holiness of creation, be pleased to bless and hallow the images of his sacred birth so that those who gaze upon them may behold this mystery, whereby humanity shares in your very nature through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Chapter 9, verses 2 through 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you, as with at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders the rod of their oppressor. You have broken as on the day of Midian, for all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, his authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord and hosts will do this.
Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Canten al Señor toda la tierra. Canten al Señor, bendigan su nombre. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, in todos los pueblos sus maravillas. Porque grande es el Señor y muy digno de alabanza. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. Pero es el Señor que ha hecho los cielos. Oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence. Oh, la fuerza y el resplandor de su santuario. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Rinda al Señor la honra y el poder. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Traigan ofrendas y entren en sus atrios. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tiemble delante de él toda la tierra. Tell it out among the nations. El Señor es rey. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Regocijese el campo y todo lo que en él está. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord when he comes to judge the earth. He, he will, will judge the, the world with righteousness. Y a los pueblos con su verdad. Paul's letter to Titus, chapter 2, verses 11 to 14. Paulus Rasul ka khat, Titus ke naam, uska dusra bab, gyara se chaudhvi ayat tak. Yahan yu markoom hai. Kyunke khuda ka wo fazl zahir hua hai, jo sab aadmiyo ki najat ka baiis hai. Aur hume tarbiyat deta hai, taake bhe dini, aur duniyavi khaisho ka inkar karke, इस मौजूदा जहां में परहेजगारी और रास्तबाजी और दीनदारी के साथ जिंदगी गुजारें और उस मुबारक उम्मीद यानी अपने बुजुर्ग खुदा और मुनज्जी यीशु मसीह के जलाल के जाहिर होने के मुंतजर हों जिसने अपने आप को हमारे वास्ते दे दिया ताकि फिदिया होकर हमें हर तरह की बेदीनी से छुड़ा ले और पाक करके اپنی خاص ملکیت کے لیے ایک ایسی امت بنائے جو نیک کاموں میں سرگرم ہے خداون کی برکت اس کے پاک کلام کے پڑھے اور سنے جانے پر ہو دس از دا ورڈ آف دا لارڈ
，圣诞快乐。Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. And wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, "Do not be afraid, for see." I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, "Glory to God in the highest." Heaven and on earth peace among those whom He favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, "Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us." So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what they had been told. What had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had seen and heard, as it had been told them. My brothers and sisters, this is the gospel of the Lord. El Santo Evangelio de nuestro Señor Jesucristo según San Lucas. Por aquel tiempo el emperador Augusto ordenó que se hiciera un censo en todo el mundo. Este primer censo fue hecho siendo Quirino gobernador de Siria. Todos tenían que ir a inscribirse a su propio pueblo. Por esto José salió del pueblo de Nazaret de la región de Galilea y se fue a Belén en Judea, donde había nacido el rey David, porque José era descendiente de David. Fue allá a inscribirse junto con María, su esposa, que se encontraba encinta. Y sucedió que mientras estaban en Belén, le llegó a María el tiempo de dar a luz. Y allí nació su hijo primogénito y lo envolvió en pañales y lo acostó en el establo, porque no había alojamiento para ellos en el mesón. Cerca de Belén había unos pastores que pasaban la noche en el campo cuidando sus ovejas. De pronto se les apareció un ángel del Señor. Y la gloria del Señor brilló alrededor de ellos y tuvieron mucho miedo. Pero el ángel les dijo: No tengan miedo, porque les traigo una buena noticia que será motivo de gran alegría para todos. Hoy les ha nacido en el pueblo de David un Salvador que es el Mesías, el Señor. Como señal encontrarán ustedes al niño envuelto en pañales y acostado en un establo. En aquel momento aparecieron junto al ángel muchos otros ángeles del cielo que alababan a Dios y decían. Gloria a Dios en las alturas, paz en la tierra entre los hombres que gozan de su favor. 
Cuando los ángeles se volvieron al cielo, los pastores comenzaron a decirse unos a otros, Vamos pues a Belén a ver esto que ha sucedido y que el Señor nos ha anunciado. Fueron de prisa y encontraron a María y a José y al niño acostado en el establo. Cuando lo vieron, se pusieron a contar que el ángel les había dicho acerca del niño, y todos los que lo oyeron se admiraban de lo que decían los pastores. María guardaba todo esto en su corazón y lo tenía muy presente. Los pastores, por su parte, regresaron dando gloria y alabanza a Dios por todo lo que habían visto y oído, pues todo sucedió como se les había dicho. El Evangelio del Señor God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his holy Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, and the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. El Señor sea con ustedes. Oremos. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga tu reino, hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en tentación y líbranos del mal, porque tuyo es el reino, tuyo es el poder, y tuya es la gloria, ahora y por siempre. Amén. God sent his son to live among us. 
let us pray in the confidence of our new life in Jesus. Regocijándonos en el nacimiento de nuestro Señor y Salvador. Oramos para que la iglesia continuamente renazca, especialmente mientras salimos de la oscuridad de la pandemia causada por el COVID. Let us share the humility of the manger, the adoration of the shepherds, and the love of the Holy Family in the light of him who is the light of the world. Pity and pardon this world of conflict, death to the message of peace. Trae armonía en donde hay desacuerdo entre naciones y en donde la gente se encuentra dividida por la incomprensión y la amargura. Sana a aquellos y aquellas que no tienen paz interna. We pray for the families and friends with whom we cannot celebrate during this pandemic time. Give us true love, unselfish desires, and grateful hearts for being able to be together virtually. We pray especially for the children, for their unclouded joy at this time, even in the midst of not being able to gather with their friends. Create in us a pattern of a human love that will lead them to the love of God who sent his son as a little child. We pray for those who cannot feel the joy of Christmas through the burden of sickness, bereavement, economic hardship, or other distress. Consuela con tu presencia a quienes se encuentran separados de sus seres queridos. Trae la luz de Cristo a sus vidas afligidas. We pray for all doctors, nurses, hospital staff, and emergency personnel who <clears throat> during this holy season work tirelessly to care for those who are ill. Give them strength to meet the demands of the surge of COVID cases and keep them safe from harm to themselves or their families. Ten piedad de los difuntos, quien habiendo compartido con Cristo su humanidad e infancia, han compartido también con él la muerte del cuerpo. Make their joy complete in the kingdom where there is neither birth nor death, but abundant life without end. Here other intercessions may be offered. Aquí se pueden ofrecer otras peticiones. Through Christ, who is, a, who is the hope of the nations and the joy of all people who make up prayers to God, who is most wonderfully with us. Amen. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill. Oh, holy night, the stars. 
stars are brightly shining It is the night of our dear Savior's birth Long lay the world in sin and error pining Till He appeared and the soul felt its worth glad by the yearly festival of the birth of your only son Jesus Christ. Grant that we who joyfully remember him as our redeemer may be with sure confidence behold him when he comes to be our judge who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. O oh Dios que has hecho en una sola sangre a todos los pueblos de la tierra y enviaste a tu bendito Hijo a predicar la paz, tanto a los que están lejos como a los que están cerca. Concede que la gente en todo lugar te busque y te encuentre. Trae a las naciones a tu redil. Derrama tu espíritu sobre toda carne y apresura la venida de tu reino. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. Almighty oh, God. Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all the days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. The angel Gabriel from heaven came, his wings as drifted snow, his eyes as flame. All hail, said he, the lowly maiden Mary. Most highly favored lady, glory For no more blessed mother thou shalt be, all generations lord and honor thee. Thy son shall be Emmanuel, thy seer's foretold. Most highly favored lady, glory Then gentle Mary meekly bowed her head, to me be 
as it pleaseth God, she, she said, My soul shall long and magnify his holy name, most highly favoured lady. Emmanuel, the Christ was born in Bethlehem alone on Christmas was born, and Christian folk throughout the world will ever say, Most highly favored lady, May Almighty God, who sent his Son to take our nature upon him, bless you in this holy season, scatter the darkness of sin, and brighten your heart with the light of his holiness. Amen. Que Dios, que envió a sus ángeles a proclamar las buenas nuevas del nacimiento del Salvador, les llene de gozo y les haga errados del evangelio. Amen. May God, who in the word made flesh joined heaven to earth and earth to heaven, give you peace and favor. Amen. Y la bendición de, de Dios todo poderoso al Padre, el Hijo, el Espíritu Santo sea con ustedes y permanezca con ustedes por siempre. Amen. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Zoom Christmas card. My name is Mary Christ, and I'm a member of the Blackfeet Nation in Montana. The group that will be greeting you today come from all over the land of LA, but also all over the country. And to begin our program, we would like to thank the Tongva people on whose land we are located today. The city of Los Angeles is located on the original Tongva land. So we give them thanks. Our group meets every week online and we have been since February. We are a program group of the American Indian Community Council, known as AICC in Los Angeles. And we are also a ministry of the Episcopal Church in the Diocese of Los Angeles. We welcome you and each of us will greet you with a short greeting to let you know how happy we are that you're with us. Roz? I'm Rosalind Ongakima from Salt River. From my family to yours, prayers for a safe, peaceful holiday season. We're almost there. Be patient. May God's grace be with you all. Be safe and mask up and enjoy. Thank you. Rachel. Hello, everyone. My name is Rachel Fernandez, and I'm Pima Hiller River from Arizona. I'd like to wish each and you, each of you, love and prayers during this Christmas, this holiday season, and a happy and safe New Year. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Martha. Hello, everybody. My name is Martha Yellowboy, Okshila V. Durang. I'm from. Uh, Pioneer Indian Reservation, I'm Oglala Lakota from the Oglala Lakota tribe. I want to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I pray for blessings over all of you, all of our brothers and sisters of this whole world. I pray for protection over this COVID virus that we do get the vaccine to heal us. Um, with that saying, Wopi La Kanka Wakantaka. I said, thank you a lot, Lord God. Thank you so much, Martha. Averill. Kia ho, mitaki ape, Avril Cordova, machi ape, malakota and tas pueblo. Good morning, everybody, and Merry Christmas. My name is Avril Cordova. I am tas pueblo from Taos, Mexico on my father's side, Oglala Lakota from Pine Ridge, South Dakota on my mother's side, sixth generation from Chief Red Cloud, and the Women's Talking Circle is here today to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Ta'a wamana untua kontowia wii amel yahuma gohi ahana bri uni tuutu mana kuel yanawi matuna ohana 
untuya ta'a pilama yayapi wopila atyahet. Thank you so much for listening to us and may you and your family be safe in the upcoming year and today. Thank you, Avril. Connie. Wash day. My name is Connie Fast Horse Norris. I am Shinkanju Lakota. I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas with overflowing joy, peace, and, and love, and just blessings for the new year. And thank you for allowing us for uh, doing this Christmas card. Thank you so much, Connie. Janelle and family. This is Janelle Hummingbird from the Singanchu Lakota tribe. My daughter, Marla, and my granddaughter, Jelena. And we, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and um, to your family from ours. Thank you. Mopila. Thank you. Next, uh, Latanya. Hey everyone, my name is Tanya LeFleur from Comanche Choctaw Nation. Um, I just want to wish everyone um, a Merry Christmas and thank you for sharing with, with my family. Um, I just hope everyone has a safe and happy holiday. Thank you, LaTanya. Bernice. Hello, everyone. Blessings for the feast the Savior is born. Hello, uh, my name is Bernice Masher, and I just greeted you in Swahili as I was born and raised in Kenya, which I consider my inheritance as it's largely influenced who I am today. My heritage are, is actually European German, which was my first language. So I also want to say, Fröhliche Weihnachtszeit. Ich wünsche euch alle ein gutes neues Jahr. And with that, I also want to add a little prayer. Um, so, um, Lieber Vater, ich danke dir, dass du uns geholfen hast, durch ein sehr schweres Jahr zu kommen. Und wir wissen, dass du auch uns weiterhelfen wirst in das neue Jahr. Danke, dass du immer mit uns bist und dass du uns immer neue Hoffnung gibst. Thank you, God, that you always give us new hope and you will take us into the new year. As you were with us this year, you will be with us next year. And thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much, Bernice. Well, I hope you can see that we are a very diverse group. There are only six or eight of us here tonight, but we represent 60 women from the Los Angeles area, and we're an intertribal group. We are happy to speak with your groups or help you to get to know our people better. And in the meantime, we all wish you Godspeed safety, healing, a roof over your head, food on the table, and much love from all of us. And we give thanks, of course, this time of year for the most precious gift, and that is the birth of Jesus Christ, our brother, the one who broke no promises, and the one who guides our lives today. enjoyed our Christmas offering for you today. May you stay safe and healthy in this season and go in peace to love and serve the Lord and Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.